Importance of food in spirituality. The spiritual life is something that is natural and normal. It is always natural and is always normal, unlike other things that we come across in our day-to-day -day multifarious activities. However, where does food stand in our spiritual life? We find out. Food is important. There has been a lot of mystification among all of us and especially among people who are seeking spiritual life about type of food we should consume. What Gita says Chapter 17 of Gita deals with this matter and clearly states that we should eat sattvic foodstuff so as our proceedings and thinking process is also sattvic so as to get moksha. If we eat rajasic food, it will lead to lust and desireful creation and which is repression and we will be unable to get moksha. Tamsic food should be totally outlawed as it leads to fall of the divine soul. Dictum of Sattvic Food But if we go by the aphorism of Sattvic food as described in Gita, then cow milk attained before the calf is satisfied is also tamsic. Moreover, sattvic food should be sweet in flavor and should not be prepared more than 3 hours back. Kali Yuga Effect Further salty, acidic, pungent food is also sick in nature. Now what to do in this Kali Yuga? We can't get milk from cow if we let its calf to get satisfied first from its mother's milk. Sweets in this Yuga What about packed food and salty food which we all eat daily? We can't leave it. Moreover, sweets are the least used in Kali Yuga. Climate and your food Then there is also hard climatic conditions which forces us to eat tamsic food. Consumption of non-veg Although nowhere there is description of prohibition on consumption of meat, onions, tomatoes, garlic, etc., only the attributes of sattvic, ratsik and tamsic nature are described in Gita. Old Concept Interestingly, tomatoes, potatoes, garlic, onions, etc. came to Indian subcontinent some 500 to 7 years back and Gita was spoken by God way back 5151 years from now. Gita's Description Further in Chapter 17 of Gita, it is said that if there is no sattvic food as presently in Kali Yuga, and only ratsik and tamsik food are available, then what one should do? The reality Offer any type of food you get first to God. Offering to God makes any type of food consumable for humans. God is our strength. Eat food in quiet and calm atmosphere. Neither eat too little or too heavy so that your hand never goes to stomach for rubbing the belly. If you enjoyed watching our video, do share it and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.